Yeah, that's my car. Thank you. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for your headliner? Are you ready for the man, the myth, the legend? Well, without further ado, let me bring him on stage. Give it up for Jeff Garcia! Give it up for Ryan Razin, the, the yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. And I love each other. Serbian, he's very Serbian. <laughs> yes, he get good deal on watch. <laughs> Thought I was gonna make the show, I had to take the tram to the bathroom. What the fuck, huh? <laughs> Bathroom's all the way the fuck back there. Yeah. Walk in, they're like, okay, okay, well, I should be here right now. Right now, <laughs> fucking far. <laughs> Thank you for coming out because I don't like seven o'clock shows. Um, Mexicans don't show up never this early. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys are here. I thought it'd be dead. I thought it'd be me and the white people right here. And like, oh How about that Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really glad you're here. It's the first time I've been in a real comedy club in a year and a half. Because, uh, you know, because of China. <laughs> They're always fucking with us, huh? COVID, Yao Ming, what the fuck? I don't go to China, just see what they think about, huh? They're so like, they're like worker ants, huh? Mexicans, we're like better ants than them. We still work a lot, but we don't. You have to go to work! <laughs> no vacation time! <laughs> you know why Mexicans go to work so much? It's because most of us are married and. Uh, <laughs> kind of weigh it out, huh? What are your wife? Hmm. There's some things on uh, white people pay attention. You can tell your white friends. And, we are translators, we think. <laughs> like workman's comp. Mexicans are never on workman's comp. We see white people, oh my god, splinter. I'm taking like a <laughs> We lose a leg, huh? <laughs> so we work, right? We just want to work. And Mexicans, we work when we're not working, huh? <laughs> My grandpa had a full-time job and he welded on, on the weekend. Why are you welding on weekends? Your grandma's not here. <laughs> I love my grandparents. My grandmother's still alive. My grandfather passed away last year. And I don't feel bad about that. I really don't, because he was 90. You know what I'm saying? That's a good fucking life. I feel bad when I was on Facebook, somebody 37 years old died. Fuck, that sucks. 90? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my, grandma, my grandma and my grandpa are divorced, right? After 60 years of marriage, they're divorced. I don't get that. Like 59, okay, 60, I can't take it. Does that make any sense? <laughs> so I told my grandma, I go, yeah, grandpa's still alive. He's like, you know why, mijo? Because evil don't die. <laughs> and then he died, right? I'm like, grandma, you're still alive. What's that say about you? I'm more evil than him, I guess. Huh? <laughs> well, thank you for coming. I, white people never come to my shows. I really appreciate it. <laughs> now, you and black people never show up. Like One time I had white people and black people, and all they did was just stare at each other and suck off. <laughs> I got heckled by a black girl. Cause I've been working just bars, you know, no comedy clubs, cause they're all shut down. <laughs> bars, right? This black girl was heckling me. And I think I offended the whole table when I said, cause she wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you know black people are loud. Oh, motherfucker, you ain't funny. You ain't shit, where's Chris Rock? <laughs> then I pissed off the whole table. I looked at my Mexican crowd, I go, uh, do all black lives really matter? <laughs> I got a lot of black friends, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm sorry, that's a white phrase. I'm just used to it. Uh, how many times you said that, sir? What? Rodney's my neighbor. I've known him for years. He borrowed some sugar last week. I just worry about black people because some, they think sometimes that uh, the, the things they want to change are not gonna fucking change. You get my point, like with the cops? I mean, like, dude, don't argue. You know what I'm saying? Get out of the car. <laughs> Any black friends I got out here, all right? Well, we're filming tonight, so if you watch this later on, this is never gonna happen. But, Sir, put your hands, uh, uh, get down on the floor, put your hands behind your back. But I ain't did nothing. Oh, you did? We're sorry, now, you have a good day, all right? That's never gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, like, no, this is my job. I look out in the world and I just find what's wrong with it. And then you pay 20 bucks to fucking, so I can explain it to you. And I'm not calling anybody in this room stupid. I'm saying I have plenty of time to think about it. Kids are 20 and 15. I have a 20 year old son and a 15 year old daughter. Oh, by the way, if anybody has any problems in their life, just ask my 15 year old daughter because fuck her, she knows everything. <laughs> I got a lot of time to look at stuff. You know what I'm saying? You guys are busy. You got cool jobs. I'm no better than you. You know, trust me, okay? Like, fucking. Everybody thinks, you know, like, oh, fuck, you're on TV. You fucking do that. No. <laughs> My fucking toilet breaks, I'm calling somebody. <laughs> What's up, bro? You alright? Like, fucking ninja waiter, you see that shit? <laughs> I didn't even hop up and crawl on the wall and shit. <laughs> you by yourself, fucker? No, no, no. Oh, okay. You want a beer or something, bro? <laughs> what kind of beer you want, bro? Bo oh, orale. Oh, yeah. but thank you, man. Kept it all domestic and cheap for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ninja, Ninja, can we get uh, a Budweiser? A Budweiser? I keep fucking with my hat. These lights are bright as fuck, dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave looking like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> you like that one, bro? Yeah. I like your hat. That's an awesome hat. I know. That's cool. Where are you from? You don't live around here? I'm from Boyle High. Boyle High? fuck. Tell you when I'm closer, bro. <laughs> I didn't, you didn't have to use your fast track to get here. Are you living in Anaheim now? Oh, there you go. Moving on up. Out the east side. You got the projects? Oh, stay there, bro. Rent's cheap. <laughs> Solar car radios. You guys didn't get that one. Okay, moving on. <laughs> what? I'm drinking wine. Oh. No, normally I drink beer, but uh, fuck, if I drink beer, I'll like have to take a break and go pee, and I wouldn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not the worst. One time that happened, I'm like, holding up here for like fucking 25 minutes and shit. <laughs> then my mom said, <laughs> "No, Mexicans don't drink wine." Nah. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Fuck yeah, we pick it, and when they fucking bottle it, we steal that shit. <laughs> Beer, but I don't want to pee when I walk here, alright? <laughs> that is called an occupational hazard. What's up with Narnia? Well, oh, Narnia? I don't know yeah. what he's got. He's, I think he's in Tucson. This oh, okay, uh, what's up, man? <laughs> he's a homeboy comedian. He tells me, uh, what's going on, man? Yeah. 
<laughs> He's fucking hilarious, that fool. Oh, no, if you guys think Renee Garcia is real name, you can follow him on Instagram. You go check yeah. out his show. <laughs> I, I laugh at him because he, he he's like this tall, right? <laughs> and he tells us this, what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> and he dates black girls. <laughs> How the fuck does he get a black girl? <laughs> when I pick up when I picture a black girl getting picked up, I just do what I picture. What's up, girl? You wanna go back to the crew, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How does he get hey what's up, girl? <laughs> what's up? You like cameras? His son is like six foot four. Because of his mom, the mom, right there, that's his. <laughs> it's, it's, the mom is like, she's black. So the kid is like, and he's like trying to scold him. It's like 10, 15 years ago. He's like like 12 years old, 13. He's like six foot four. <laughs> hey, man, you better do your homework, man. I'm serious, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Shoot. <laughs> Nigga be fucking around. You know what? I'm serious out here. Don't get to do that shit, man. I'm sorry, Dad. Give me a hug, dog. <laughs> man, it's hot up here, isn't it? <laughs> well, all my friends are like, there's something like this weird about it. My, I have a homeboy named Gabby. It's a guy. Sure. Yeah, his name's Gabino, but they call him Gabby. Yeah, now he's, like, he's married now, but he had the biggest, best pickup line ever. He walked up to a girl, hey, what's your name? And, she's, and when the girl's all, Sean, he's all, want trade names? <laughs> uh, you do is get drunk. I, you know what's funny? The whole pandemic, I was just drunk. <laughs> there was nothing to do. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fucking like, drunk and fucking zooming with chicks. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. When this shit goes away, I'm taking you to Denny's. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, I did get a bitches. Man. <laughs> On this no lie, a homeboy dated this girl. He's like, yeah, go to her pad, bro. I'm like, yeah, let's go to her pad, man. Fuck it, we got 12 pack, went to her pad. So I'm like, okay, you guys want to go somewhere? I know this bar is pretty cool down the street. No, no, we're gonna stay here. I'm like, okay, and she got up to go to the bathroom and she had one of those ankle things on her shit. <laughs> I look over and go, hey, homie, oh, you scored a happy hour. Like, Where'd you meet her, Court? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, dick, she only has one restraining order. <laughs> Black girl hood, you grew up hood too, right? You know, like our friends are all hood. You know, you know when they went to court and they start talking like that. Like, hey, bro, where's your girlfriend? Ah, oh, she said I allegedly cheated. <laughs> yeah, we're taking a short recess, huh? <laughs> What's up with the outfit, bro? I gotta ask. Man. No, you're a good looking dude, your lady's hot. I'm just fucking saying, like, you got up and got dressed to go to a comedy show and sit in the front like that? Oh, come on, man. I blame you as much as him. <laughs> you ride a bike or what? <laughs> so you were like, yeah, like, big fire, and you go, oh, that's me? <laughs> I'm not making fun, I'm just asking, bro, all right? People always say like, oh, like you pick on me. I don't pick on people. Pick on people saying you're fat and you're ugly and you're stupid. I'm just asking about the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you're all buff and good looking and shit. I think you had your hair all spiked up and shit. <laughs> your girl walks that way, you yank her back. <laughs> scared of you, bro. I'm just saying, like, with that outfit, it like lessens the scaredness. <laughs> What's your name, bro? I'm like, get your name. Steve. Steve, fuck yeah. See, it's a tough name, too. What's your name? I didn't get your name, bro. I'm sorry. Johnny. Johnny, fuck yeah. Johnny from the fucking Boyle Heights, motherfucker. Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> See? <laughs> fucking Johnny, I owe you money, bro. <laughs> you look like people owe you money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't you look like people owe him money? Like, no. Yeah, you're good. Are you with Jesus now? 
You religious? I'm a reverend. Oh, you're a reverend? <laughs> Can you bless his outfit? Says you gotta find Jesus. You gotta find Jesus. You me. No, no, I'm just saying. I, I, everybody says that you have to find Jesus. Oh, yeah. You know, I know where Jesus is. He's in jail. <laughs> if all my friends that come out, <laughs> I found Jesus. <laughs> He's been in jail? <laughs> I go to church every Sunday? Spending all that money? I'm a Catholic though. So yeah, I'm a Catholic. They don't have Reverend Catholics, huh? Reverend. Are... He's a priest, yeah, and priests and sisters. Catholic's the best one, man. You can fuck up all week and on Sunday. <laughs> and they even give you a shot of wine when you leave. But you gotta admit, bro, those commandments, they're pretty vague. The first three, I get it, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, you know, I mean, they think it's a little vague, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. <laughs> Maybe she lives all far. <laughs> Can I covet? Okay, I'm just trying to figure it out, man. As long as you don't know her name. As long as you don't know her name? How am I supposed to get a hold of her? What the <laughs> hey, bitch in the orange shirt, that was that pink white candy last week. <laughs> <laughs> and be quiet, I know. Yeah, bro, we were like club. I know I'm 46, bro. I have a bunch of club jokes. I don't do them no more. I'm too old to be telling club jokes up here. <laughs> what? No, I'm talking about I'm old. Okay, I don't want to go to a nightclub be that fucking dude. <laughs> and I'm like, 23 year olds hit on me. I'm like, fuck, I can't do that. 23? No. I did it one time, I did it at 24 years, about a year and a half, right before COVID started. <laughs> so we went out, a friend of mine hooked it up, and she was a fan of my cartoon voices. Get the fuck out. That should have been a red flag right there. Huh? <laughs> Took her to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> she started talking shit, because I didn't get enough tickets for the fair. <laughs> I couldn't talk to her. You know what I said? I said, the, our waiter's name was Willis. I'm like, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> and my friends all laughed. He's like, who's Willis? Do you know him? <laughs> I'm taking you home. Just put Drake on the radio. We'll, we'll, have it. we'll have it dropped off in a minute there. Still shit, yellow shit. You didn't get that one? <laughs> you know, baby shit, yellow shit. Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> So hard, fucking. You, how long have you guys been together? Man? Quite a while. Quite a while. Fuck yeah. That was the greatest answer ever, dog. Because you have no clue, huh? That's good, bro. Congratulations, team. You the man, they said. No, I thought you were going to go into Mexican math. You know what that is? How long have you been with them? Oh, shit, the fucking Raiders went to the playoffs. And The reverend said, that's fucked up. <laughs> we got you, bro. It's wine. <laughs> See, that, so he's in love like crazy. See that? That's love right there. Look at that. He hasn't like, let go of her since the show started. <laughs> look at that. Look, look, look at his shirt. He bought it for him. He bought that shirt. Right? You bought that shirt? You didn't buy that shirt. Give me a fucking break. That's a fucking, I want to keep it forever girl shirt right there. She's with her friends in the mall going, what could I buy in the wear that no other girl would want to fuck up? <laughs> Look at his turquoise. <laughs> 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 
How long have you guys been together? I'm, I'm, let me guess, let me guess. Eight months? What? Just about. Yeah, see? I do this for a living. What kind of Honda you got? What? It's a Civic. See how fucking good I am at this shit? I've been doing this for 30 years, girl. I see when we're looking relationships, they fizzle. Look at the, he hasn't even looked at her the whole show. He's not holding on to her. He's putting it on her resting. What? That's what I'm trying to say. I just said that, sir. Whoop, when you rewind, whoop, when you rewind. I just said that. I got it, sir. Calm down, all right? We have no medical attention around. Sir. How old are you, sir? Can I ask? Yes. What? 75. Oh, fuck yeah, 75. What are you drinking, man? What are you drinking? Diet Coke. Fuck yeah, just for the taste of it. That's awesome. What's your name, sir? I'm sorry? Will. Will. Fuck yeah. White boy name. You don't understand. All white names are verbs. I'm gonna will it to you. <laughs> yeah, all white names are Chuck, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Skip, <laughs> Chase, <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Russell. <laughs> nice to meet you, Will. You made it, sir. You passed 70. And you look great, too. Who are those people sitting next to you? My friends. Also 70s. 70s? She doesn't look 70 at all. Look at Check you out. Ooh, who the fuck are you, Benjamin Buttons? You look great. Here's to you. What are you drinking, man? Wine tea? Tea? <laughs> I'm 70, I want to look like her. <laughs> Three more years. <laughs> and that's cool. Are you white, ma'am? Are you white? I am white. Yeah, okay, that's great, because you normally white people age like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> black people are like 80 and look three. <laughs> you see black you ain't. Hey, yo, man, I'm playing some basketball. How old are you? 87. <laughs> Mexicans, we have a shelf life of 36 years. <laughs> we do, like, as soon as we, like, we're like, all look young and shit, 35, 36, poof, <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah, man, I'm not done yet, don't worry. <laughs> Next show don't start till 10, okay. You want, you want another wine, man? You good? Yeah. Okay, what kind is it? Uh, Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you live in Huntington Beach or what? Of course you do, right? I don't have the Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Can you get well of a dark color? <laughs> What's your name, Miss? I'm sorry. Melody. 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 There you go. That's almost a Mexican name. That's great. <laughs> Couple of the continents are there. Oh, I'm sorry, Cholo. Continent is like a hard. <laughs> hey, Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Melanie wants a Pinot Grigio, right? Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. <laughs> I'll take a shot in there. <laughs> I love that voice, huh? Every time you talk about a rich white guy, just, oh my god. <laughs> I used to live in Laverne. I used to have a big ass house. Oh, shit. No yeah, I know. I, I made it for a minute. And then, <laughs> then the divorce court goes, no. Divorce is a bitch. Any, any, any divorced women here? Divorced women? All right. 
I'm gonna have to hook up with one of you chicks. Cause odds are you took half your husband's shit. My ex-wife took half my shit. So together we'll have whole shit again. That's my e-harmony. What's up, bitch? You got couches? <laughs> Fucking divorce. Have you ever been divorced, bro? Yeah. Oh my god, huh? <laughs> my mom said it the best. Mijo, divorce is like when somebody in the family dies but they're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Was it, was it an easy one or was it a long one? It was ugly? Oh, mine was too, man. And she has so many complaints. I didn't fucking lift up the toilet seat. I used the towels that are decorated. I'm not supposed to use those. I fucked her sister. I mean, this petty shit. It went for it. No, I didn't fuck her sister. Her sister's busted. Fuck, never did that. Fucking her should be punishment for shoplifting. Can I get can I get that bro? Can I get a, a, a Pinot Grigio? Okay, is he just coming back from the bathroom? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm fighting crime. What do you want? Hello? What's that? What's that? What? I just yell fire. <laughs> All running. What's going on? Yell fire? No, Pinot Grigio. Sorry, man. How was the game? What was that? How was the game? The game? What game? Last weekend. You invited us. Which game? On your show. You said, come out. So we came out. We did that video. <laughs> Dodgers. Dodgers. Yes. What? You invited us. Yeah. To the Dodger game? That was, um. You were there at the Dodger game. You invited us. Yeah, on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were there. Oh, I was there too. They put me on a little TV. <laughs> and then the fucking five guys with paperwork trying to serve me. <laughs> Oh, I've been a Dodger fan forever. I, just, yes, I, was, I was born. You know, you know when you're Mexican, they give you when you're born, they give you a, a Dodger hat and a Raider jersey. What's, no, I already no, I no, bro. What the fuck, bro? Okay, can I hold on? Hey, don't move, don't move, bro. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, order. Go ahead, go ahead. Listen. A, a Pinot Grigio, and can I get a Chardonnay in a pint glass like this? What? A, a Chardonnay in a pint glass like this, and she wants a Pinot Grigio. <laughs> that's Melanie, that's part of your landlord. <laughs> I know. You know what's funny? Like, I, I have kids, and like, I made a lot of money back in the day. I, I still do pretty good. I'm worth, like, you know, you know a good chunk. <laughs> My ex-wife is doing way better than me. <laughs> Fucking when I was a, like when I was a kid, fucking I took my son to his first baseball game, right? When Manny Ramirez was playing, I bought the best seats right there in fucking front. Like we were getting hit with Manny Ramirez dreads. Right? That's how close we were. I spent like about a thousand bucks because I, I loved going to Dodger games when I was a kid. And he, I look over, he's not even watching the game. Watch the game, motherfucker. Serious, son. I was fucking dick to sit here when I was seven. Saying that metaphorically, I would literally go ahead and suck a dick to sit where you're sitting right now, you little fuck. Because we were broke. You know, we sat at the fucking very, very, very top and shit, seven escalators. I look at my dad and my dad, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, dad. Fucking birds are flying by. What's up, fool? Southwest flights, people are waving. Dad, I can't breathe, Dad, I can't, I can't breathe. Now pay attention, me hold you, might get a foul ball. The fuck? Ain't nobody hitting shit up here, who's batting the Hulk? And we didn't get to see the whole game, because we got thrown out because my mom snuck in food. And she's trying to argue, we bought it here, we bought it here. We bought it here. Mom, they don't serve Manila at Dodger Stadium. And if they did, it wouldn't be in a Raider thermos. Kids. I spoil them. I, I shouldn't spoil them, but I do, you know. Will these spoil your kids? Fuck what? Fuck my kids. You don't have kids? Yeah. Lucky motherfucker. I love you, Will. Dude. You spoil your kids? Come on, Reverend. You have grandkids now? Or? Yeah, I got oh, yeah. You can spoil them, but not your real kids. 
My fucking son and I bought him the Wii, right? The whole package, the Wii with the little things you can talk to his friends and shit. He's all, Dad, when you're my age, did you have a Wii? He's fucking Wii. I had a us, me and your Aunt Liz. And when she want to kick it, I had a me. It's so tough to have kids, man. I was like, oh, it feels so good. Oh, they come out, ah, fuck. You got kids, bro? How many kids you got? One kid? Oh, that's cool. How old? She's 40. 40? Okay, I said kids, not full grown kids. <laughs> Three grandkids? That's easy. Grandkids are easy. You just give them back. Yeah. Why is grandpa wearing that? <laughs> Come on, that shit was funny, bro. I said, I'm a trade professional. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you yeah. spoil your grandkids? Of course. You spoil the fuck out of them, huh? Oh my god, my dad comes to my house, right? No lie, my son's like eight, right? He's like, Dad, let's go play at the park. I'm gonna go clean the room. You don't come out of the room until it's clean. And my dad goes, You can hang out here for a little while. Where the fuck you come from, nice man? <laughs> See, this scar in 1984, you. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's fucking 74 going on 12. <laughs> you know what he has? He carries around a backpack with a game cube in it with Mario Baseball. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking thing. You guys don't play one. <laughs> yeah, you take your meds, you take your fucking meds, dad. <laughs> fucking dad's a trick. I want to tell a story. I don't have, do I have enough time? My dad, like I, like, I have very vivid memories of my dad because, you know, after he hit me, you get a little hazy. <laughs> Remember when, like, back in the days when you just, like, you didn't get smacked for no reason? It could be in the supermarket. And I just wanted a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> Nowadays, it's on the news, on Facebook. Look at that, dad, that, 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 that. Why people you started that shit? Just want to let you know. <laughs> Did you get beat, Melanie, when you were a kid? Of course, bro. No, see? Yeah. They, you just sit there and talk to them. <laughs> talk to your child. <laughs> we didn't get that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> time out. There was time out back in the day when my dad was beating me and got tired. <laughs> time in, bitch. We're like, no reason, huh? They think we're gonna shut the fuck up and push you down. I told you, shut up. <laughs> Fucking warned your ass. You know? Keep talking your cock, go ahead. I was scared when I was a kid. I was fucking scared. <laughs> There's no fear now, huh? There's no fear. We had a fucking fear of our parents. Like, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's no fear now. Huh? White people, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave you out for this for this one minute. <laughs> Because if you guys go, like, if your kids go way wrong, they go way wrong. When Mexican, like, kids go wrong, they'll rob a liquor store. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Beat somebody up for no reason. White people, like, either you go to college or you're, like, a serial killer. There's no, like, there's no, like, you know what I'm like, my, my cousin's, I became a teacher. I go, where are you teaching at? She's, I'm a Mexican, black, or white neighborhood? She's all Mexican, black. I'm like, you're safe. <laughs> yeah, because Mexicans and blacks, we only kill the person we're mad at. <laughs> white people are in there. You're here too! <laughs> white kids walk in and, you know what I'm saying? Mexican walk in and stab someone and stab me. Oh my god, he's got a knife. It's okay, I got him. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not in here, it's okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because there's white people here and like they're torn to laugh. Like it, and yeah, she's her right here, she's torn. <laughs> Turn to her boyfriend, they're all laughing, it's okay. <laughs> white people, you guys gotta learn how to laugh at other races. You think it's racist if you laugh at shit. No, laugh. 
laughing at Mexicans, fuck. <laughs> We're funny as fuck. We're the only people that will fix our car on the freeway. <laughs> Not a flat tire, a fucking transmission. You <laughs> fucking uncle will leave you a lighter. Mijo, go on the front and go like that so we you fucking nine years old on the fucking 110. <laughs> laugh at that shit. We laugh at you when you guys get a flat tire and you fucking flare up 17 miles down the road. You set up a detour already. You got a flashlight and you're danger! And black people, when your car breaks down, you just walk away. <laughs> Fuck that car, man! <laughs> Fuck that car! <laughs> One of my best friends is a black guy, go to his pad, like, where's your car at? Man! He's talking about it like it was his girlfriend that left him. Man! I put new tires, oil changes. Couldn't take me to work? Fuck that car! <laughs> What you gonna do? I'm just gonna go to hot shit and get another one. <laughs> Did you get your Pinot Grigio yet? I didn't get my shit. Is it <laughs> I guess I ran out of comps. <laughs> mm, okay, yeah, look at it. Everybody look at it. looking at the bill right now. I hate when the bills come out. You know why I hate when the bills come out? This is where the Mexicans and blacks stop laughing. <laughs> fuck the fool's funny, eh? You fucking know this. You fucking fuck that tourist, eh? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, put that in order, tax. Try it home, you're a professional. <laughs> you okay, Loka? Are you okay? Cause you're like, don't fuck up your eye makeup. I gotta. I'm serious. I got a fucking email one time. This chick, you fucked up my eye makeup. I was on a first date. What the fuck? I'm gonna age myself. Fucking Tammy Faye, don't put that shit on my dick. <laughs> Some people got that. Some people did. Look at real. I got that shit. Is that your husband, Melanie? How long? Uh, 28 years. 28 years? Hell yeah, Melanie. Yeah. Took a little break, came back. That's cool. What's your name, sir? John. John, hell yeah, at the bathroom. <laughs> I was serious about that wine. I don't want the fuck. Okay, come, come, up, come down, trouble with me. Bro, I'm never coming to Huntington Beach again, eh? Except for court, I'd be here on November 3rd. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you were like, can I have that Chardonnay, bro? I mean, you can drop out the bills later, bro. I just want this real quick, man. I'm getting kind of dry up here. <laughs> That's cool. Nice to meet you, John and Melanie. Give it up for that. That's 28 years. That is, right? That's awesome, man. I was married for nine years. I want to stab a bitch. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you have a good lawyer when you're divorced, bro? Not really. No? I know. I fucked up there, too. Dude, I, go, I had a Mexican lawyer. There's some things you don't let Mexicans do. There's some things you let Mexicans do, like tile. Fix your brakes. No, you're not. Her lawyer walked in, white dude with an Armani suit. I fight for my client. My lawyer's like, I, 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 I try. You know. He goes, I specialize in divorce. My lawyer goes, uh, I, uh, I do DUIs. It's just my name. Armani suit. My lawyer had to dress up manos. Yeah, 
shittiest lawyer on the planet, bro. Shittiest lawyer. Got me my kids half the time. I'm like, what the fuck? I want it every other weekend like my friends got. I don't gotta watch them all the time. And they would say the same shit every time they would my time. Man, like, Dad, we're hungry. We're hungry. Well, so am I. Your mom took the refrigerator. Give it up for Ryu. You watch your bottom, bro? You ever watch these like like 40 hour mysteries and dateline and shit like that? The real murder stories and shit where the husband kills the ex-wife? The fuck? I never killed my ex-wife. Now I gotta watch my kids all the time? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with these people? You just killed a babysitter, you dumbass. <laughs> Nothing happened to my ex-wife. I send that bitch vitamins. <laughs> Fucking son, my son, my son looks exactly like me. My son's six foot two though. I know, I, I don't know where that came from. His mom's, his mom's, no, yeah, no, probably, I don't know. He, no, he looks exactly like me, so I know it's mine. I went to boring dude, get the fuck out of here, you're the fuck. I told my son, I'm like, son, learn how to tell a joke, learn how to be special. Why, dad? Why do I do that? Because I've had that face for 40 years, it gets no ass. He's a dude, he's a fucking dude. No, I love my dad. Now he's a little tougher, but when he was when I wrote this joke, he was a dude. This is the way he talks to me. Dad, can I go to the mall? Can I go to the mall? So why do you want to go to the mall for? You got no money. I just want to go to the mall, Dad. Can I go to the mall? Why do you want to you know, never I don't even want to go anymore? Because he grew up in Laverne, that's why. I so want to drop him off like in fucking Puente and have him walk home. <laughs> to toughen his ass up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he'll come back with a tattoo and a baby. <laughs> okay, girl, what? Like, oh, the dress is slipping or what? <laughs> you look great, though. You're very pretty, woman. Thank you. Can I guess your age? Yeah, go ahead, Call me now. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say 32. Is she 32? Oh, <laughs> she's on no. Fuck. How old are you, Beth? Can I ask? 52. You look great. Fuck. Wow. Holy shit. I'm moving to fucking Huntington Beach. Okay, you'll see me, bro. I'll fucking be wearing that outfit next to you. I'm good at this shit, loco. <laughs> and after this show, bro, you better get back somewhere, bro, because you're like prime <laughs> suspect. <laughs> they shoot everything out here, prime. I see the Huntington Beach yeah, police officers shoot the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Brown. <laughs> Brown. Brown. That's true. I didn't get your name, sorry, bro. Tyler. Tyler, fuck yeah, fitting in, huh? <laughs> We're gonna sit with Will. You drawn. Did you say you fell asleep in the tanning salon? <laughs> like that one, Will? I think I love Will. Oh yeah, I love that shit. John laughed too. He said you guys have a good time with one. I mean, I'm pretty good at this shit, I know. I 28 years and fucking in your 70s. You guys still like. Yeah? Is he, is he, no? Yeah. No, Viagra, you're back, John. You guys should spice it up, put some music on. This is a fucking fun show. And do me a favor, I'll be here the day before Thanksgiving. Please come back. Yeah. 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 
I'm gonna hand out little red flags, all right? If you, I say something that you heard before, just go like that, and I'm like, <laughs> Something happens to me every fucking day, dude. I have a rat in my house, a rat. Yeah, no, not like fucking, he fucking did it. Not that kind of rat. A real rat. And that motherfucker is ballsy as fuck. I think that he, that he was reincarnated somebody don't like me. <laughs> the motherfucking only did the other day. Like I have like this cable wires in the back of my house, right? And he fucking stopped and just stared at me. <laughs> I named him Templeton. <laughs> I bought a fucking I bought a fucking BB gun. I bought all this shit, rat poison. That fucking old, still he's still yeah, I fucking like I shouldn't I should name him like a Mexican name because that fucker don't want to leave or don't want to die. I'm just waiting for him to talk to me. Hey, bitch. Nice try. By the way, your neighbors have better food than you, bitch. And I got my niece's dog, right? My niece is a little fucking like half chihuahua, half fucking, I don't know, um, Colombian. I don't know what the fuck. It don't, it don't attack. Like, it's like walking by him. Attack, attack. Uh, fuck you, you feed me. <laughs> See, I can just make jokes about anything. Not your outfit. I'm talking about like, really. <laughs> fucking lights are fucking. I'm gonna give you the shirt when I get down here. Hey, what? I'm gonna give you the shirt. You gonna give me the shirt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go. Oh, that's crazy. No, I'll be okay, bro. Look, okay. No, they, they can't make me go. No, you know what that light is for? I earned my money tonight. That's what they're saying. Okay. You did enough. You got your check. Can you please shut the fuck up now? I know. I, you know, I'm gonna collect all these shirts. I'm gonna collect that one. I'm gonna collect that one. <laughs> I'm gonna wear that one and try to sell tickets in San Francisco. I'm gonna wear that one and apply for a loan. Mr. Garcia, yes, it's me. I was on the golf course today. Oh my god. Bob was wicked. Two birdies? I'm like No, I didn't mean the lights. I mean, these, the ones that are pointing at, they put the house lights down. <laughs> it's so funny, Ryan was telling that story about how I got him out of that DUI. Yeah, yeah. He fucked it all up. <laughs> But like, you know, when you're, you know, like, yeah, you grew up hood, you know what I'm talking about. What you do is, when the driver's there, you I pretend run. like you're extra fucked up, like he had to pick you up. You know, so that's what I was doing, huh? Fucked up, sir. Man, you give a fuck about it. I give it to the fucking policeman's fun. <laughs> Sent you $8.97, you pulling us over, bitch. <laughs> and the joke goes like this, all right? Says, why can't you masturbate with this finger? The joke is, cause it's mine. <laughs> Not it's on my hand. <laughs> it's so funny when white people, when you're white people that get pulled over, they freak, huh? Like, we're like this normal, yeah, here we go again. <laughs> can I see your license and registration? I'm reaching into my pocket for my driver's license. <laughs> Ryan, you should have seen him shaking like a white bitch. No, don't move that quick. I had a bottle of vodka right here in the fucking on the side of the car. We were in Vegas. I was getting fucked up. Then I had this chick, don't lie, that bitch had fucking five warrants. And I don't mean that bitch as in to all women. I'm just saying that bitch. Five warrants. They could have took her in. Like, I'm 
I remember you thinking like money wise, like a bail her out, get her Uber to my pad, get her Uber back. Is it really worth it? <laughs> it's okay, girl. I got you. What's wrong with me? So, uh, there's a whole bunch of things wrong with me. You didn't notice by now? Look at it. I'm dressed, dude. Fucking pants from Coles. I just noticed that this acid watch, like. You can go, how are those in the 80s? You ain't a bunch of bitches with that shit, let me tell you. Me and you are like that, you jalapeno bastard. Here's to you, man. Here's to Will, and here's to Melody, here's to John. So many boys. Some friends came out. My boy, I told you my boy Gabby's here, my boy Cal's here. Cal, I raise your hand, bro. Say what's up. We, took, we went to Dodger game together. Me and him went to Dodger game together, and he's Lebanese. And yeah, you don't piss off Lebanese people, like, you don't. Because they argue. But we buy tickets here. We have tickets, we buy, you treat me good. Tiki, I pay for Justin Turner. <laughs> there was this fucking, like, remember that Padre fan in front of us, bro? It was fucking hilarious. I kept making fun. They were youngsters. And I, I wasn't doing it rude, like, you know, Brian Stowe, the guy that got his ass kicked for talking too much shit at Giant Fan, and I'm glad he got, I'm not, did I say that? I laughed. <laughs> But this kid, he had like frosted, like he had like curly hair and it was frosted, you know, like the little, the tips were all frosted. I'm like, hey homie, I don't think it's a popular fan. I'm like, hey homie, I'm not trying to disrespect, but uh, uh, I'm looking at the back of your head. I thought I ordered chili cheese fries. <laughs> you have it on video, huh, guy? <laughs> and then black people sat next to us and they were all white. Except for like the, the, the you know, the curly hair dude and his brother. Padre fans, I'm like, oh man, look, they hit two home runs. Oh, it's okay, you still have the Chargers. <laughs> oh. I know, insult, huh? <laughs> 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 I took off my glove. <laughs> we fight. <laughs> <laughs> we ate so much, huh, Cal, because it was free? Well, not free to, well, free to me, not you. <laughs> you billionaire, gazillionaire, motherfucker. No, you. Lebanese. I buy Lebanese. I buy stadium. <laughs> no more, no more Vince Scully. Drive. No. Count the scene drive now. That's what, that's what Lebanese people do. They don't fucking fight. They just buy the building. <laughs> what? You have a problem? I buy right now. No more rec room. No name. Count the scene stadium. Mother bitch. <laughs> I got you, Cal, I'm gonna do it, I'll do it. I told you I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Lebanese and Armenian people could not curse. They're the worst cursers on the planet. They cannot have, they don't know how to put words together. You ever heard of Lebanese and Armenian curse? Lick of a bitch of mother of dick, huh? <laughs> You're the mother of the bitch of the dick of liquor. <laughs> of asshole of the dick. And then at the end they say, huh? <laughs> you a bitch of mother, of dick of liquor of the bitch, huh? It's like they don't know what they said, huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah, on, on the real cow, we need to like organize the Lebanese and Armenian community and hire black people to teach you how to curse. <laughs> Any black people here? Black people? Yeah. He said, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, yeah, he's the, the, the one on the end. And I got a white woman, motherfucker. I ain't get pulled over. <laughs> if my boy is pulled over with that white girl, he, he's, in, he's in the car. You know who my fucking dad is? <laughs> Do you know who my fucking dad is? <laughs> my dad's a mayor of Rancho Santa Margarita, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, you heard me. You heard me. Yeah, you heard me. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Jamal. I got this. I really call my dad. 
Just hey man, you gotta fucking teach Armenians and Lebanese people how to curse, man. Cause black people are the best. You ever hear a black guy curse? Punk ass bitch, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, slow. <laughs> Lebanese, you are the liquor of mother. And why do you guys stand like this? Liquor of mother of bitch of bitch. You are the bitch of the liquor of the mother of, of the pussy of the liquor. Huh? Black people curse the best. You guys, are, like, you guys had that in corner. I heard Samuel L. Jackson say motherfucker twice together in a sentence and it makes sense. It's Pulp Fiction, he's like, I'm a mushroom crab blow, motherfucker, motherfucker. And I'm like, yeah. Lick it a bitch of Jeff Garcia, bitch, lick it. To be a good American, you gotta curse, huh? No, I'm saying like when it's appropriate. I'm not saying going to the fucking bonds and going, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm talking about when it's appropriate. Don't curse for no reason. Like me. <laughs> I'm real, bro. I'm so sick of black people like saying that we don't, Mexicans don't get along with black people. That's fucking bullshit, man. Bullshit. That's a media bull. We don't give a fuck, man. We love you guys, man. Without you, this country would suck. Football be all slow. Shit, basketball, no dunks, all three corners. Dude, the Olympics, no gold medals. Fucking John, you can't run. Here's the black people, raise it up. Here's the black people of America. We love you, man. Thanks for the gold medal. Without you, we'd have archery and swimming. <laughs> Fuckers are fast. You're the reason why the police got a dog. Look, a dog can't catch you guys off. Did you get him? Hey, thank you. I did the extra 10 minutes. My name is Jeff Garcia. We have a good night. Thank you.